Scotty Mack. Actually, try and find a girl for this one. <laughs> I already want something. Maria Merovilli. Fan favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Morgan. Woo! Woo! Boy, 
playing the role of Dr. Frankendorf. A devious situation for Captain Superpunch. Good gravy beans. What have you done to me, Dr. Frankendorf? My statuesque nemesis. <laughs> there is no use escaping, Captain Superpunch. This device you are attached to is actually a miniature black hole. Nothing can withstand its gravitational pull. Fuck you! <laughs> now, now, Captain Superpunch. We are not so different, you and I. To kill you now would be far too easy. And I would have gotten away with everything of that for meddling. Dr. Frankendorf, listen to me. Kasora, the 60-foot-tall giant centipede, wants to kill you and will stop at nothing to do it. Ha! Do not be silly, you frightfully silly asshole. <laughs> Kasora thinks that that was Douglas F. Frankencloud, industrious billionaire and president of Nuclear America. She'll never learn the truth. But tell me, Captain Superpunch, would you care for some ecstasy? No, thank you, man. Ecstasy is a drug. Drugs are addictive. and can be a gateway drug to other drugs. <laughs> My dear Captain, all the cool people are doing it. Not even once. You want to be cool, don't you? I will be cool my own way, Dr. Frankendorf. By respecting myself, and others, and the law. Blasted shit! <laughs> but mark my words, Captain Superpunch. The machinations of Dr. Frankendorf are long-reaching, and the deep, fiendish ten tendrils of my will that touch every corner of this earth with the rancor and determination of that gelatinous giant squid. Jump to the moon. See. <laughs> <laughs> 